So what are units? Um, on top of it, we're going to talk about common units as well as the standard ones that we will use for this course. So units, what they are, units are what we break up amounts of things into in order to do measurements. So common units and the five types that we'll be talking about for our class, things like length, you need to measure a length. So let's look at a few. You might have up here where you're measuring some inches on a ruler. You might have a meter stick where you're measuring centimeters or millimeters. You might see signs that have height. And so over here you're measuring feet and inches of the height of the tunnel. Right? Well, the idea is you need to know how big that thing is or how tall that thing is. If you've got a semi or a double-decker bus, you want to make sure it fits through the tunnel. You need to know that sign is telling you accurately how tall the tunnel is and that your truck, you need to know how tall it is and hopefully it's shorter. Right, we need units in order to do things. And there's other types of units. We can see some of these other ones. There's, well, down everybody's used a balance scale recently, but scales tell us weights and masses of things. Um, over here, we've got a radar gun. It tells you the speed of things. And we measure all the time. It's how we relate any amounts of things to each other. So what we use for measuring, though, changes the size of them. Basically, units of measurements are how big. And so you can have, in, say, inches and feet for length. Well, they're both just one unit, but a foot is bigger than an inch. And so it just measures a larger amount. And so usually, if we want to talk about length, the reason we have a bunch of different units is just for what scale. If you are measuring a pencil, right, that's not very big. But if you're measuring the distance from here to New York City, well, you, that's really big. You don't want to measure it in whatever units you were making, using for pencils. Like you'd need a huge number of inches to go from Seattle to New York, where you need a in few inches to measure a pencil. So generally, What's going on with our units is that they are size differences, so that we can use the right one for the right thing that we're measuring. Now that be told, people have made up a lot of different units over time. So take a moment, go ahead and pause this. Think of all the different units you can think of for a length, for a mass, for time, for temperature, for amounts, numbers of things. See what you can come up with and then come on back. All right, well, let's talk about some common units. Things in length, we can have things like inches, we can have feet, you've got miles. You've also got, well, it's English system. You've got centimeters. You've got meters. you got kilometers. you got light years. Which is the distance light travels in one year. Right, there's a lot of different length units. Mass, weight, we tend to think of things like pounds or grams. Oh, let's, let's move that one actually, keep metric a little later. We've got pounds, you got ounces, you got tons, there's grams, there's kilograms. There's even metric tons, right? Mass is a weight of stuff, how heavy it is. Let's talk about time. So for time, most people think of the second, or the minute, or the hour. Temperature, there's a couple units for it. There's Fahrenheit, there's Celsius, and there's Kelvin. And amount. Well, most people just usually count. We think, oh, well, 100. We think of it as the number, but technically that means a certain number of individual things. A dozen maybe works a little better. Think about a dozen, that's 12. Right? 
So if you have three dozen, you have 36 of something. So dozen is an amount. A gross is 144 things. For chemistry, we're going to care about the mole. And the mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 things. So 6 followed by basically 23 zeros. All right, there's some twos in there. But that is how many. This is the number you need when you talk about atoms to be on the human scale. You need 10 to the 23 atoms, so individual elemental particles, to be on the human scale. We are very, very big. All right, so there are types of units, some common units. There are technically two more types of units in the international standard systems. Um, there's also candela, which is a luminous intensity. And there's electrical current, the amp, or ampere. But we won't be using either of those for our class. Um, luminous intensity, just how bright something is. And amp for the electrical current. All right, so what do we do with these units? Well, specifically, which ones are we gonna use? We're gonna talk about many of them and how to convert, but for our class, well, it's a science class, and so we have a very set number of units that we're going to use. And that's going to be our metric system. So I wrote them all over here on the right. Centimeters, meters, kilometers, grams, kilograms, the mole. Kelvin, we'll probably use Celsius occasionally. Um, and in terms of time, well, there's no metric time. It's just seconds, minutes, and hours. So time, to be fair, when the metric system was created, kind of standard international units that for whatever reason the U.S. doesn't use, when the international system of metric was created, they actually did have metric time. It was a pain. No one liked it. And when Napoleon took back over France, he got rid of it. Kept the rest of the system, but everyone hated metric time. So we just continue to use standard time. So units we're going to use and discuss in the next video. We're going to talk about the grams. We're going to talk about the meter. We're going to talk about the second. We're going to talk about the mole. And we're going to talk about Kelvin. These are our standard units that we will be using in this course. And so we'll talk about them in our next video.